Now we are going to create an input and a file path, a file browse. So the first one is easy. So sg.i and in the same row sg.file browse. Let's run our code. Let's choose a file. As you can see, we get the path inside this entry. It's doing that because they are in the same row. But what if I don't want to put the file browse in the same row? So let's do this and let's close this one and add the comma. Let's run our code again. Choose a file. As you can see, we can't see the file path in this input. And that's because it's not in the, in the same row. And to do that and to show the file path in this input, we need to create a key first. Key, let's call it path. And here there is a parameter called target is equal to that key, which is path. If we run our code again, choose a file. As you can see, it worked. Okay, now when we leave it that way, we open all type of files. If we open it and browse, we can see all files here. What if we want to limit to only PNGs here? Or only txt files. To do that there is a parameter called file types and here we need to put it inside a 2d tuple. And here we're going to create our tuple and put a comma at the end, it's important. Now let's write for example text files and then comma asterisk dot txt and let's run our code. We program to show only text files and we can't see anything because there is no text file here and this folder is only PNGs. Let's change it to, you know, instead of changing it, let's add another one. And here, PNG files, comma, asterisk.png and add a comma here. Run our code, browse. And now, as you can see, we have two, two types here. Yeah, can you see that? It's amazing. Open it and here's the path. As we saw file browse, there is also something called files browse. The only difference is that instead of selecting only one file, you will select multiple files. Let's add the S here, files browse, and then open, go to browse. And now I'm clicking on shift and selecting multiple files. Now that's how it works. It's the same thing, just selecting several, several files at the same time. Okay, there is something called folder browse. You select just a folder, which is sg.folder, folder browse, and you will select only the folder. Let's go back and select a folder. And now we selected a folder. Okay, you know to see the result, let's let's do the target. The target is equal to be the path. Let's choose our folder. As you can see, this is uh, the path to the folder. Okay, let's create an element called calendar button. So sg dot calendar calendar button and let's name it calendar and let's run our code click on it and this is the calendar and if we click on any date then press ok you get the calendar as key and the date for saving there is a, an element called sg.save save as and let's call this button save as Let's run it and click on it, as you can see, but it doesn't do anything because we haven't programmed it yet. So it's just a window. We're going to create a table. So I did some rows. I created some rows here. This is the name, email and gender. This is the header and we have the, those two buttons. Let's create our table. The element name is table, so sg.table. The first parameter is the header, which is headings. Headings is equal to a header. 
the second one is the rows so values is equal to rows and let's add the key key is equal to let's write table let's run our before running we need to add a comma here and our code heading headings yes with s at the end run it again as you can see we get the table and if you press on a particular bar for example this one the third one we'll get the value here too because the index starts from the zero 